Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm going to open up another box of the 2003-2004 uh, in the game memorabilia. So this is an interesting box. This is old school and it's got a bunch of goodies in it and only cost about $26, down probably from $40. Uh, and it's in the early days of memorabilia. So there's 24 packs per box, six cards per pack, one memorabilia card. Uh, the rookies from this uh, issue, there's Dan Hanzus, there is Joffrey Lupul, there's Brent Burns, um, there's Patrice uh, Bergeron, there's a bunch of them. So there's all kinds of goodies there, Jordan Tutu, uh, Eric Stahl, and some Dustin Brown. Uh, so the base set's 200 cards. The inserts, uh, there are 203 draft redemption cards, which are rare. Those are one in 160. There's mass three base, which are awesome. There's brush with greatness, deep in the crease, uh, super rookie base. Uh, there are de definitely, there's a game used memorabilia. I think last time I hit, um, who did I hit? I hit Curtis Joseph and I hit uh, Roberto Luongo in terms of my game used, game used stuff. So. There's goodies, so you can look at the side of the box and see what we have. It's a lot of stuff to run through. Um, and there the odds are in the back here, if we can somehow scooch a look on on this bad boy. So there, so there are ruby parallels individually numbered to 200. There's sapphire individually numbered to 100, and there are emeralds. Uh, so there you go. And there you see the mass three base are one and eight. Deep in the crease are one and 12, so I guess two per box. Uh, last time, the deep increase that I got, I got the I got the Leafs and I got the uh, Montreal Canadiens. So it was such a long, involved break. Uh, the box itself looks like a shoe box, as I've mentioned before. It's an awesome box, a big box. It has a big piece of styrofoam in it. And on the cover is none other than a guy named Mario Lemieux. Um, so I'm going to crack this bad boy open. The cards are going to stick. This is old school stuff here. Um, and it's going to take a long time to get through, so you're going to have to bear with me. Uh, I'll try not to be too, too, too chatty, but, you know, that's sort of my M.O. So you can see within the box, the manual is even inside the bottom uh, or the, the lid of the box. It's absolutely a shoe box. You see it's three across. Uh, you see how spectacular the white and blue looks with, uh, with Mario looking behind him. Um, so let's see what we get. I'm going to start cracking these bad boys open as quickly as I can. Uh, we will be looking for memorabilia cards, and we will look, be looking for mask cards, and the mask cards are beautiful. And this is split down the middle. When we think of INTJ, when we think of uh, in-the-game products, we do think of Between the Pipes, and we also think about, in the background I have some Between the Pipes cards, as you notice, uh, we also think of Be a Player cards. And this is split down the middle. Some packs have the Be a Player, and some have the Between the Pipes. So this, you see in the top left-hand corner, has the uh, Between the Pipes. So. We'll be looking for rookies. The rookies are really hard to diagnose because they're they're written in a white font that's almost impossible to see. There's Jocelyn Thibault. Uh, and there indeed is Patrick. And these are just uh, these are just fillers, uh, redemption program, but they're really cool looking cards and they have actual players on them and, and the players vary. Uh, continuing on, there's Marty Saint Louis. And you see there it says Marty Saint Louis and it says memorabilia card. Um, and there we have Marty Havlet. So we're gonna have all kinds of stuff. As I said, the base the base set runs some 200 cards. Well, it basically goes up to 170 before uh, the rookies. The rookies start at 171 uh, and go all the way up to 200. So that would be the base set. So we'll be looking for rookies to to diagnose the rookies. We, they would be cards above 170, or it would be written on them somewhere. Lots of goaltenders, so half of it, if it's between the pipes, it means they're instantaneously, automatically, um, by definition, they're Sakura. By definition, it means they're goaltenders. Uh, that pack feels a bit bigger. I'm, I might have to save some of these packs for last if I, if I get wind of the fact that there are, um, re um, not re redemptions, but the memorabilia in it. There are some rare memorabilia, like gloves and stuff like that, but I think those are almost impossible to hit. I think it's in the early days of it, of, of these types of uh, things. There's Garth Snow, um, and there's Roberto Luongo early in his career. So I'm gonna try to separate them out into the different piles, if, if at all possible. Um, you keep your eyes peeled for rookie cards. You might see them. I'm going to have difficulty seeing them. I do have my Googles on today, so I should be able to see something, but not necessarily easy. 
So there's Big Joe in his early days with, and there's the other Joe, Joe Sackick. Uh, that's Big Joe's early days with the Bruins when he got drafted as opposed to, as opposed to, of course, your, um, oh, so we have a hit. We have our first hit. You'll, we'll see it in a second here. Um, as opposed to San Jose, I think I was trying to say. And there's Ray Emery. And here's our first hit, and it's a deep in the crease, and it's of the Rangers. So it's it's Mike Dunham when he came up, Dan Blackburn, and then we have UC Markinen, I believe, and then Jason LaBarbera, who also made it to the NHL. Uh, I think he, he played serviceably as a backup. He definitely played with LA and a couple of teams. Uh, but I do not have this deep in the crease. It's a metallic card. It's, it's really nice. I do have the Habs one, and I do have the Leafs one, which was very fortunate. Uh, to get, to get both of those. And there's Eric Lindros. So we'll keep trying to keep hammering through this. It's gonna take 30 minutes. There's so many packs here to get through. It's it's a little bit uh, insane in the membrane. Insane ain't got no brain. Just gonna to try to pipe through them. You see Rick DiPietro, uh, you see John Gray, and you see they're all old school guys for the most part. Uh, there's Marcus Naslin, and there's Mark Messier. Um, I'm happy that I got the deep increase of the Rangers. It's nice to not get duplicates. I've been trying to build out that subset. Uh, just in case you're curious about it, um, the deep in the crease, I'm just sort of looking it up right now. The deep in the crease are, is a subset of 15, uh, it says, yeah, it says 15 different cards. And each card has four different uh, players on it, and deep increase basically means the, the depth at goaltending, so they're basically AHL players or whatnot, uh, not necessarily all uh, NHL. There's Felix Podvin with Boston, believe it or not. There's Mark Denis, who I always like to say was uh, an analyst for the Habs, is an analyst for the Habs. Pascal Dupuis, and there's Owen Nolan with the Leafs, uh, with a very 90s looking goatee. So we'll be looking for, uh, I think, two memorabilia cards. I think they come deep in the crease, come twice a box. Uh, the memorabilia is also, I believe, come twice a box. So there's Ray Emery just chilling. There's Robert Esch. There's an, uh, there's, so this is our first, uh, you'll notice that this is a parallel card. So if it's numbered to 200, it says on the back of the box there, I believe if we have this correctly diagnosed, they have they have the reds, they have the emeralds, they have the sapphires, and uh, trying to get this cap back off. Right. So the yeah. So number two, sapphires are individually number two to one hundred, and the emeralds are number two to ten. Right. So the rubies would be the ones to 200. So this would be one of the rubies, obviously, evidently. Um, I'm gonna put those aside. I don't know if I've gotten any of the other colored ones, so they would look exactly like the base cards, except, except they would be colored. And you'll notice that this Felix Podvin, and it's a great one to get, by the way, is, Podvin is, is 173 of 200. It's super hot in Brooklyn today out of nowhere. It's been freezing and frigid and just miserable all winter then all of a sudden it's uh, 80 Fahrenheit or uh, 25 Celsius day. There's Cujo. That's Mike Dunham. And that's Ryan Miller, which is kind of cool. I'm trying to keep the cards vaguely in focus is sort of difficult. So this don't have much space here. Maybe make a bit of more room. So the rubies and the sapphires and the, and the soul and the emeralds, as we see. There's Freddie B Brathwaite. Uh, I believe that's Zach is Burke. I think he his his brother was a rock star, unless I'm mistaken. And uh, I think he might have come out of the Peter Patch. Uh, he had a small stint. Okay, so we have our second deep in the crease, and our second deep in the crease happens to be the Blues. So that's another one I don't have, and it's Chris Osgood, Brent Johnson, Curtis Sanford. And then it's uh, difficult to read Davis and uh, Rutkowski, I believe, is, are the ones that, uh, but, but it's the whole point of that, it, the one that they're sort of showcasing would be the Osgood, who of course uh, is uh, a pretty well-known, well-received, played on 
I guess Stanley Cup winning teams. There's Eddie Eagle, Eddie the Eagle Belfort. So here, for example, is one of the blue ones. And you see how they're numbered to 31. Okay, so that's a parallel. Um, and the parallel, by the way, is of Daniel Alfredson of your Ottawa Senators. And there's a Mario, which is kind of cool. Nice to get a Mario. Nice to showcase the uh, magnificent Mario. Uh, this actually has a hit in it, so I'll, I'll hold up on this one. Put our, our hit uh, pass there just to keep a little bit of uh, order to our disorder. And this is another hit. There's another hit in this one too. So these are two packs where I have to keep an eye out because they have, I believe they have hits in them. Keep a little bit of uh, mystique going as we, as we go. So that's Dan Blackburn. Um, that would be Sean Burke, by the way. And here we have an Ari Ahanen. And this one is number to 200. So this is, I don't even know who this guy is, uh, but it is a ruby, it's a ruby one, okay? So keep on going. Uh, so the cards are really busy with information and uh, the photography is sort of neither here nor there. It's not, not great, but not terrible. Uh, but it's, the, the cards are very glossy, very sticky. Um, they're not sticking together per se, but they certainly have, have an inherent uh, gloss stick to them, which is okay, which is fine. And this is sort of awesome on a Tommy Salo. Here, I was trying to keep these bad boys. So you notice that I have two stacks here, and one has the Between the Pipes, and the other one um, would be uh, be a player for secret is what you would call them, I, I guess, because they're sort of normal players. So this one has another hit, um, and I'm going to go through that in a bit. And I'll keep some of those goodies for the end. Really, really involved product. There's just so much going on here. But you see that there, there's Oli. Okay, so here we have Dominic Hashak. So these ones are the brush with greatness. And uh, as I mentioned before, I believe there is actually a Morris Richard card of these, uh, apparently, maybe even a Jacques Plante. Um, but this one's a Hashak card, which is really, really cool. So that is uh, an interesting subset that we would want to build out. Um, hard to get through all of these packs, so many packs. So the brush with greatness, uh, I believe there's two of them in the entire box, unless I'm mistaken. So there's Raycroft. You can see, and here's Marc-Andre Fleury. Very cool. So this this is a huge hit, I just, I just realized. Uh, Marc-Andre Fleury in 2003-2004 was his rookie year. So this is a rookie card of Marc-Andre Fleury. So I hit this memorabilia rookie card of Marc-Andre Fleury, which is probably the best one in the entire, in the entire box. Um, I'm going to have difficulty um, identifying the rookie cards because they're really hard to tell. You can see on the side, if you look closely, that it says rookie. Uh, you may, might have seen them as we go by. You might have seen some rookies. I'm going to have to go through the cards in a, in a hot minute. As I said, it will be everything above 171, so I still will have a lot of work to do. Even this video is going to be a 30-minute video, no matter what I do, because I'm going to have to go through all the cards and double-check for the rookies, which you may or may not have seen. Um, very difficult to, to get through. It doesn't help that all the cards are in different sort of... Uh, so here's a rookie, right? There you can clearly see it. And it's a Yuri Hoodler. So we hit the Yuri Hoodler rookie as well, which is really nice stuff. It's just hard to diagnose the rookies because it is not plain, uh, plain view. I'm house sitting a cat today, so I'm wondering where, where he is. He's around here somewhere. He's a good cat. There's Josie Theodore. So that's another nice one to get. Uh, Telquist. Toscala, as Ziri Levin likes to call the legend himself. 
and you know Zuri Gaming, Zuri 11, he's another uh, guy who does breaks. He's a very popular, uh, real plain spoken guy from, I guess, the Toronto region. He's a good cat. He does awesome, awesome breaks. A real hockey. Uh, oh, we have another hit. I, oh, this is really cool. I don't even know what this is. Okay, well, we'll, we'll take a peek at it. And here is a super rookie. So this is, I don't know how rare these bad boys are, um, but it's a super rookie and it's a David Hale. Unfortunately, it's not some big name, but it's a beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, it's metallic blue looking card. Uh, so that will also put in the rookie department. Um, I'm very curious about the odds of that bad boy at this point. Is there any way to quickly ascertain the super rookiness? Super Rookies are 1 in 30, so there's one of them per box, um, or not even per box, per, per a little bit over a box. So we only have three packs left, then we have the three packs which I deem, I assume that there were hits in, so we'll check those bad boys out in a hot minute, hot second, a hot something rather. This one too is a hit of some sort, um, but let's keep on, let's keep on going. This is a hit too, I think. What the hell is this? Oh no, it isn't. Oh my god, I got a draft redemption. But we cannot redeem it. That sucks. That sucks. Well, we'll I'll show you the draft redemption. Um, I, I was hoping I wouldn't get that. And what did I say? It was like 1 out of 720 or something for the draft redemption? Let's look. Does it say here? Draft redemption? Uh, uh, super, super rookies 130. Sapphire, okay. Draft redemption cards are one out of 160 and I hit one. It sucks because I think it means I don't get a, mem a second memorabilia card. Um, I think, geez, this is the funny thing with these. So here I got a draft redemption and it's a Nashville redemption. So I don't know who this would have been, uh, but I can guarantee you it's no longer good. It's a real thick looking card. So that's what a draft redemption looks like. Um, I might want to uh, get a good look at it here. So this is what the draft redemption cards look like and they are super rare but I can't do anything with it unfortunately. I could look online and see if I can get the actual card so that's something I might do. Sometimes I do that and you can get it for like five ten bucks if you're lucky but that's an interesting one. And then one more pack before we go through the packs, which I assumed had hits in them. I may have been mistaken, but we'll see in a minute or so. Okay. So between the pipes, we have Corey Schwab. And here we have another one of the Brush with Greatness, and it's, and it's Joe Sackick. Okay. That's Joe Sackick. And then we have these two other players. Now what I'm going to do, well, I'll do that in a second. So let's go through what I deemed were hits. Okay, so we have a mass card here. So I'll take a peek at that in, in two minutes. We still have a couple of those. We have another one here and here. And this is just one of these bad boys. And our first mask of the mask set, mask three. I don't know if I have this one, and it is. Um, it's an Olaf Kolzig. He was a big deal at the time too. So I got an Oli the goalie, Olaf Kolzig. So that's really nice. And these are beautiful cards. They've, they've got a powder blue uh, sheen to them. They've got this sort of really nice texture to them. Uh, and they're awesome, awesome cards. And it's a great set to build. And I have been building it out. Okay, so, and then we'll go through this one. And it's another mass card. So let's just see how this goes. There's Trevor Kidd. And then our next one. And let's see who it is. It is, dun, dun, dun. oh my God, it's Marc-Andre Fleury. I wonder if this is, this is actually, this is actually a rookie card as well. It's a rookie mask. Now, whether you consider this a rookie card or not is really up to you, but it's Marc-Andre Fleury's rookie year and it's a mask card. So I don't know how much the whole set would cost to get the set, to build the set, but this is an awesome one to have a rookie mass card of Marc-Andre Fleury. Okay, continuing on, unbelievably. 
I can't believe what's going on here. And then we have another one. And who is it? It's none other than Sean Burke. So we have another mask and it's of Sean Burke, who's another very strong one. Okay, cool. And then we have these two cards. I don't believe they're rookies. And then we have our last pack with our hit. So we have a Cujo. I'm not really sure what he's doing here, but we have a Cujo. Then we have a Martin Gerber. And then we have a Zach Burke, who I said, uh, I think a friend of mine knows him from Peterborough, wherever this guy's from. And then we have, what do we have in behind? Behind, we have a Stevie Y. What else do we have behind? We have a Timu Solani. Okay, so we got a Timu Solani and a Stevie Y. And then we've got, da da da, what is it? Oh, no way, I got another Marc Andre Fleury. Holy crap. This is definitely a, this is a rookie Marc Andre Fleury uh, jersey card. Holy moly. And it's a future wave. So I just, I just, I just want ape shit. You know, Ape Daddy, Top Shelf, Marmalade Jar, just Top Coin um, on the Marc Andre Fleury rookie cards. This is just, this is a Marc Andre Fleury box. I cannot believe that. That is sickness. And look how beautiful this card is. This is a hot card. Now, it might be man mass manufactured. Uh, let's see what the future wave are. Well, I'll look them up if maybe I could find, find out what they are. So, so he's super rookie base. The draft redemption was one of 160. The max base were one of eight. Brush with greatness are, were one of 64. Uh, deep in the crease, one of 12. Super rookie base. Game use memorabilia cards, one in 24. So, Colt Mass 3. Super rookie platinums. I'm not even sure what the odds are of this future wave. I think it's just a considered a rookie. I'm not sure. I have to look that up, but it's really, 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 really a uh, handsome card. So let me go through um, what I've gotten because I think it's, well, firstly, I have to, I'm still not done with this video because I have to go through and see whether there is anything above 170 in the numbering because other, because I, I might have other rookies up in the uh, neighborhood. So the rookies would be numbered uh, above 171. So we have to quickly look through the backs of these bad boys to see if we identify anything above 171 or above. Um, so the last card in the, in the entire set would be the 170. I wanna sort of maybe get these, get these uh, in focus a bit for you cats out there. Uh, so here's a rookie. And who is it? Uh, it's Matthew Lombardi, okay. Um, just hammering through these bad boys. So this stack, for the most part, are all the between the pipes goalie uh, ones. One forty one sixty eight. Nothing. No. So, and I don't believe any of them were colored. Had they been colored, they would have been the emerald, the sapphires, uh, or the rubies, of course. Okay. So just so now we'll go through the players. So that whole stack. So just to recap, that whole stack uh, was just goalies, if you can believe that. Those were between the pipes, uh, base cards, if you will. Now let's just see here if we see anything above 171. So there's a rookie, and who is it? Um, it's Dan Hansus. So I got Dan Hansus rookie card. Very nice. Um, just hammering through again, and we just want to see if we can get to to anything above 171, which would be a rookie card. Because as I said, uh, I might have lost right by these uh, bad boys. Okay, apparently not. Okay, so we did so we did locate two of them out of out of the blue. So let's go through our, our fair or proper recap here, uh, if we can, if at all possible. And I might have missed a rookie or two. It's it's all it's entirely possible. So let's start off with our uh, <laughs> these are players are are between the not between pipes are be a player uh, just base cards is stacked like this. We have 
a between the pipes so these are all goaltenders we have a stack like this there may or may not be a colored one in here I'm not sure I could have potentially missed one you tell me so those are all our base cards we got a stack of these bad boys which just happen to be sort of this redemption program thing and they're kind of cool looking uh, but they are just fillers um, what else did we get? So let's go to the back here. We got Brushwick Greatness, which, which is a really cool looking subset. And we got the Joe Sackick and we got the, uh, the Dominic Hasek. So those two, those two um, there's only one every, I guess, two per box. Uh, what else did we get? We got these two deep in the crease. Uh, last time I got the Leafs and I got the Habs. This time I got the Blues and I got the Rangers. So that would be sort of focus on Mike Dunham and focus on Chris Osgood. So those are the two deep in the crease and it has it sort of enumerates all the players, their depth in that position. Um, I got, in terms of parallels, uh, I got these two rubies number to 200. So this one here, Ari Ahanin is not well known per se, but I did get the Felix Podvin. So that's very cool. And the Felix Podvin is numbered 173 of 200 and it's one of the red ones, or ruby ones, if you'd like. Uh, I did get this one of uh, Daniel Alfredson, so one of the blue ones, and it is numbered 31 of 100. So it's nice to get him. He's a well-known quantity, so to speak. Um, in terms of the mass cards, uh, I got three of the mass cards. They're all really, really well-known. Um, so the first one here would be Olaf Kolzig. Uh, the second one here would have been Sean, Sean Burke. And believe it or not, I got the Mark Andre Fleury, and it's his rookie year, so it's his rookie year mass card. Boom! I got this rookie redemption, and it's of Nashville. And unfortunately, I cannot redeem it. And these are rare as hell. I got these come one every 160, uh, but I can't do anything with it. Unfortunately, I'm curious as to who the player is. I could look it up, um, but what can I do? I can't do anything. I could potentially buy it online. Um, in terms of rookies, I got the super rookie card, which come like one per box, if that, of D David Hale, who I don't really know, um, unfortunately, but they're really beautiful cards. In terms of other rookies, believe it or not, I got the Yeri Hoodler. So I got the Matthew Lombardi, I got the Yeri Hoodler, and I got the Marc Andre Fleury rookie card. So I did hit the Marc Andre Fleury rookie card, and I got Dan, Dan Hanzus, who, who's another. Uh, really well-known rookie, um, really known, well-known player. So, so those are essentially my rookies. I got to hit the redemption, but I can't do anything with it. Um, so last but not least, and this is completely crazy, my real hit was the redemption, which I can't do anything with, but I also got this, that you get one memorabilia card per, and I happened to hit the memorabilia of Marc-Andre Fleury in his rookie year. So essentially, I got three uh, Marc-Andre Fleury rookie cards, believe it or not. I'll show them to you right now. Um, where's, where's my Marc-Andre Fleury? There. So the three Marc-Andre Fleury rookies I hit in this box, believe it or not, is the Marc-Andre Fleury base rookie card. I got this unbelievable future wave, uh, which is just really nice. And it says, congratulations on the back. You have received Future Wave card from 2003-2004. It is a game used uh, of the CHL prospect, I guess, at the time, but it's essentially a rookie card, jersey card, a Marc-Andre Fleury early in the game, as well as his mask card, the first issue of a mask card of his. So this is it. I ended up hitting the Marc-Andre Fleury rookie box of, of uh, 2003-2004 memorabilia. Um, I'm Fulton Cards, live and direct in a place called Brooklyn, New York.